Some Amir. Why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Namir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. I hope he's not broken. Mamir, we're on the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. speak to the serpent there's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge take me to it finally that horn good now put my lips to the horn That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, Remembers me. Why you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno Huntunku. Pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're heading in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one on the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober.
Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. Boy. Boy. Ah, I was wondering about it. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts, you'll find him. Oh, almost forgot. Brock, this is our new friend Mimir. We've, We've met. met. Oh, why didn't you say so? He, he knows, knows why. why. I, I know, know why. why. You, know, you why. know why. Quiet. No more of this. Know what? I'm sorry I brought it up. Can't you and Sindri just patch things up? Whatever happened couldn't be all that bad. You're family. Now don't be lecturing me about family. I ain't the one what forgot what her name stood for. 
What we made, the weapons we made were legendary across nine realms for more years than I can count. You just don't throw that away on account of one bad... One bad what? You One bad nothing. Ain't you got somewhere to be? What's it gonna be this time? What it'll it be, Shorty? Got something else in mind? Make up your mind? Hope you got what you wanted. <laughs> Something for the boy. See how that treats you. And don't be letting that spit fister of a brother of mine lay hands on it again. Think of me next time you're chopping someone in half. So, uh... You sticking around for grains of wisdom? Hey, where's your beast of burden? What do you mean? I ate her. Fat bits of her out just a while ago. What is wrong with you? What? Her milk ran dry. She was your friend. Then she'll be happy I'm so well fed. Shit bricks, boy, you got a real sentimental streak, know that? Don't get yourself confused out there. I'm getting back to it. Read it. Sir. Uh, these runes read death inside. You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? So, Brock said his friend was dwarven like him. Wearing a green ring. Look if you wish. I will be gathering resources for our journey. But no ring. One of his crew? Scorch marks. There, along the floor and wall. Weird. I guess we keep looking. We? I mean, I'll keep looking. Some more dangerous than that. Then do not drop your guard. Come.
That takes care of that. Not him. Hey, I thought you didn't care. I noticed the lack of ring while looting the body. Ah. Enemies ahead! We're not gonna find Brock's friend alive, are we? Boy. Yes, sir. It's some kind of drawing. Maybe a map. <laughs> Maybe a treasure map. Attached to the Soul Eater. Well, we know what happened to Invari now. We can just go tell Brock. No need to fight it, right? No, we will fight it. But why? Because you are frightened of it.
Strong, Atreus. Stay focused and look for a weak point. Yes, sir. Stay quiet. Make no sudden movement.
Can you read it? Yes, sir. These runes were written fast. It spells out... Ejim Staney. Hmm. I don't know that one. We will ask the blue one. So now you're interested? We found his alchemist. A reward was promised. What'd you find? Your alchemist. I'm sorry, Brock. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul eater inside. And well, it must have burned away the rest of him. Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? Naturally. Naturally, he says. Miani for Uxi. Take a closer look at this here ring. Maybe Anvari left a bit of magic inside for he groped. Dwarves can do that? Sure, dwarves and magic jewels is like flies and pig lips. Supple ones. Ugh. I'm not as interested as I thought. Oh there. Got another favor to ask you to. Let's sort you out. Time for another break anyways. What do you want, Dwarf? I got another lead on my old pal on Vari. Meet me at the Lonsuther Mines. There's some fancy dancy loot in it for you. Another lead? But we already found him. Well, found his hand anyways. I'll explain at the mines. These ones is just south of the river pass. Now you two want something, or are you just gonna stand there all gag scrapped and slack jawed? Pulled the ring off on Vari's hand at the Velander Mines. Feller was always tampering with souls and dark rituals and matters of the night, see? Just the sound of his hammer flattening metal were enough to smoke my fires all the Come.
You gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Why don't you tell me how all this began with Boulder? He just knocked on our door. Boulder of Asgard just knocked on your door? Yeah, he just showed up and started a fight. He said he wanted to know something. He said, I know what you are. <sighs> oh, well, we'll circle back to that later. What exactly did he want to know? I was under the floor by then. He said I already knew what he wanted. Perhaps he mistook me for another. Huh. That's quite interesting. in the middle of a story before. What were you saying about the long war? Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. We could beach the boat here. Treasures from all different realms. Do you think that Fafnir went to Alfheim too? I do not know. Aren't you curious? He sounds interesting. We go to the storeroom to collect anything useful for our journey. Not to learn more about the dwarf. Fafnir was a rather interesting fellow, little brother. Perhaps I'll tell you a story one day. Found anything good in Fafnir's storeroom, like maybe a whetstone? Hey, Sindri, have you met Mimir? Uh, if you mean the severed head that keeps blinking at me, please keep it away. There is no possible way that's hygienic. Oh, that's nice. Lovely to see you too, Sindri. Nob. Why? Is that a piece of my braided mistletoe arrow adorning your quiver strap? Oh. A little memento of your good pal, Sindri. I'm so... terribly touched.
Reavers. Uh oh. They must have gotten here first. Potential boy. Find another entrance. Atreus, to me! made inside. I hope they didn't take all the treasure. treasure and know what stuff keep your expectations low boy and you will never be disappointed you off guard. I wasn't expecting them. Exactly. Okay, brother. On my way! 
considered a tactical retreat. And useful resources. The main reason we are here, boy. However, many of these chests have been emptied. Probably by the Reavers. I hope they didn't take Sindri's whetstone. about this next one. Maybe we'll even find the what stuff. Remember what I told you about expectations, boy. Keep them low. I remember. Still, good feeling.
I saw. So I should keep my expectations low, but always expect an attack? It is a delicate balance. Expect the worst, assume nothing, and always anticipate an attack. Sure is a lot to remember. Stone. And only one room left. I know I shouldn't hope, but do you think we'll find it there? So, you're back to piss on my corpse, you ungrateful little... Uh, who are you two? We're looking for a whetstone. Have you seen it? Aye, there was one in this room. My son sharpened his dagger on it, right before stabbing me in the back. What? Little bastard thought it was his turn to lead my crew. I was hard on him, sure. Mm, guess I shouldn't be surprised. I did the same thing to my dad when I was his age. He killed his own father? Where is he now? <laughs> he may be a bastard, but he's my bastard. You'll get no help from me, fool. Then his dagger will help. Hey! That's mine! Hey! Come, boy. We are leaving. <laughs> 